Okay, so welcome back to week two, talking about metrics and key measurements um, and how to understand where the numbers are coming from and what the numbers mean when we're plugging them in. So uh, this week we're going to ask the question, um, how are the key measurements descriptive of my movement? Um, in other words, how does what I enter into key measurements every month even mean anything about what's happening uh, in my ministry on campus? So behind me is an abbreviated version of your key measurements um, in terms of the, the stats that you enter that reflect of what your ministry looks like. Um, so we're familiar with the two columns. Um, for all of these things, you can see that there's the total column, uh, total number of sewing exposure and decisions um, that you were personally involved with, the growing, ministering, and multiplying disciples in your movement, um, and then the sending and challenged conversations. Um, and this is specifically challenged to AIA. Um, and then I've added one more here on the bottom that you actually don't see in your key measurements. This is for all the opportunities because opportunities will collect stats from all the staff that have participated and then submit it as an opportunity instead of submitting individual key measurements. So we can help uh, reflect and judge the effectiveness of opportunities. Um, and so opportunities are asked, how many participants have participated and how many are minorities? Um, and so we can accurately reflect that uh, in our sending area. So if you'll notice as we go through here um, that our, our win is our, our sowing, our exposures, our decisions. All right. Um, our growing, ministering, and multiplying disciples as we try and um, for advancing them uh, to different levels of uh, participation in the movement. This is our build. Okay, and then this is very clearly our send with sending conversations, challenged AI staff, and opportunities. Um, and so because our movements are win, build, send oriented, uh, but this is, this is really what we're measuring. Um, that this is measuring the effectiveness of how are we getting out uh, and exposing students and faculty to the gospel? Um, and what, what are the results of that? Um, growing, ministering, multiplying disciples. This is asking, what does your movement look like? Uh, is it a bunch of young disciples? Is it a bunch of experienced disciples? Um, how are you helping your disciples develop? Are we watching numbers from, from growing, move into ministering and multiplying disciples? Um, and then sending, are we challenging students to go and live a gospel-centered uh, life after college? Are we challenging them to do something um, ministry-oriented? Um, are we actually sending them to the world, um, which is where our opportunities come into play into that? Um, and so win, build, send is really how the key measurements are structured and how we really want to measure our movements. Um, and so we recognize that, um, that there's two components now, um, as we have a focus on oneness, that we can see how oneness is played out in who we approach and who we expose to the gospel, uh, who's participating in our movement, and who we send out from our campus. So that's kind of a brief overview of how key measurements match up with um, what our philosophy is with wind, build, and send. If you uh, missed last week's reference on key measurements with the KSOs, uh, you can click here and there'll be a video right here that will sh talk about that and walk you through those steps of where those numbers are coming from and how they're calculated. Um, this video over here is kind of a bonus video. It'll talk about stages of movement um, and how those are reflected in your key measurements.